Hey everybody, welcome back to Learning with Little Tweet and Mrs. Hill. So, it's time for math. Um, we've been learning about 3D or solid shapes, right? Last week we learned about cone and cylinder. Today we're going to learn about two new solid shapes. I'm really excited. So here's what you need. Well, okay, so I read the lesson and we're gonna do something a little bit different. They want you to find objects and draw them, but try to draw them as solid shapes and then label the different faces and sides and vertices and all that. It's very hard to draw solid shapes because when I try to draw solid shapes, well, I'm actually very good at drawing one particular solid shape, but when I try to draw any of the others, to me, they look like flat 2D shapes. It's really hard for me to draw them looking like solid shapes. So we're gonna mix up this lesson a little bit. Um, so actually, I don't know that you really need anything except, oh, I'm so sorry. Monday, May 11th, day 29 lessons. I don't think you really need anything except this paper for our little exit ticket at the end. We've already done the first three and we're going to do where the one where it says day 29. This paper, the chart, we didn't do it last time. We're not gonna do it again today. We're gonna kind of just talk about these things together but not fill out the chart. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and pause the video. <laughs> Look, it's upside down. Here we go. Pause the video to, just to get this paper and a pencil. All right, guys, let's get started. So last week we learned about this shape. Do you remember what it's called? You guys, the shape we're learning about today, I'll give you a clue. It keeps trying to roll off the table. It's like really rascally shape. I'll show it to you in a minute. But first we're going to review what we learned last week. Do you guys remember this shape? It has a circle on the bottom. That's also called a face. The bottom face is a circle and the top face is also a circle. And then it's round on the sides and it'll even, I don't know if you can see this, it can even roll, right? But it also can slide, okay? If you remember what the name of this shape is, one, two, three, whisper to me. It's a cylinder. If you didn't know that, that's okay, because that's a hard word to remember. Cylinder. Ready? Say it with me. Cylinder. Okay? It'll maybe take a little time to glue that one in your brain, but we'll keep practicing. All right. This one's a little easier to remember the name of it. So for this one, the bottom face or flat side is a circle, and then we have a point at the top. Now this one also rolls and it can also slide. Do you remember the name of this one? I'll give you a clue. It's a cone, like an ice cream cone, right? It can also be a party hat. I didn't even I didn't even do one, two, three, whisper to me, but hopefully you guys knew that one, cone. All right, two new 3D shapes we're gonna learn about today. First, I'll introduce you to the rascally one that keeps trying to roll off the table. So. Some of you might see this and say circle, but remember a circle is a 2D shape. It's flat. Look at this. This is not flat. This is a solid shape and it looks a lot like a ball, right? But the shape isn't called ball either. It's called, are you ready for this? It's a tough one. It's called a sphere. Mrs. Hill, that is a crazy word. Let me help you say it. First, make the s sound then the f sound. So put those together. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it's really weird. And then you say ear, like your ear. So it's ear, sphere, <laughs> sphere. And then you blend it all together, sphere. This is called a sphere, okay? And it's just like a ball and it, it doesn't have any flat sides and it can roll really, really well. Do you guys see it rolling? Um, oh, sorry about that. I dropped you all. Um, let's watch a little sphere video. 
that says sphere. All right, let's get a closer look at this sphere of ours. See, look, it keeps trying to roll away. It's going to roll right off the table. Um, how many faces does a sphere have? Remember, a face is a flat side. How many faces or flat sides does it have? It doesn't have any. It's just round all over. Now, we know it definitely can roll. Look, it's not even wanting to stay in one spot. It definitely can roll. <laughs> can it stack or slide? Let's talk about that. Let's see what happens if I try to stack it on top of, well, let me use the cylinder because we've learned about that one. Let's stack it on top of, of this cylinder and see what happens. Whoops. Oh, look, it just rolls right off. So can we stack spheres on top of other shapes? What if we try to stack shapes on top of the sphere? Let's see what happens. Oh, this is going to be loud. Ready? Oh, there it goes. So we cannot stack spheres. Can we slide a sphere? Now, the way that that's different than rolling is if it slides across the table without flipping over. Let's see. I'm going to try to push it across the table. Oh, it's rolling. That's not sliding. So guess what, guys? A sphere also cannot slide. It can only roll and it sure does like to roll. Later, we're going to go on a little hunt and you guys will see if you can find some spheres around your house. Let's learn about a new shape though. Okay, so here is a new shape that we have not talked about together yet. Do you know what this shape is called already? If you know, whisper it's a little tweet. Mm, some of you might have said square. Guess what, guys? It's not a square. It does have squares all over it. But remember, squares are flat. This is not a flat shape. It is a solid shape. It has squares on every side. So let's talk about this shape. It is actually called a cube. And you have definitely heard that word before, like ice cube, right? Or, um, I guess, I don't know what other words have cube, cube in it, but there are lots of things that we use all the time that are shaped like cubes. Oh, I know, unifix cube. Unifix cubes at school are um, shaped like cubes. Some of you might have a Rubik's cube. A Rubik's cube is shaped like a cube. Okay, let's talk about this cube. So, every single face, every single side has a square. Okay, so let's count how many squares it has all together. One, two, three, and then there's one underneath, four, and then one on each side, five, six. So it's actually six squares put together, okay? And then it has a lot of corners or vertices too. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then back here, seven, eight. So it has eight corners or vertices. Let's um, watch a video about cubes real quick and then we'll explore it a little bit more. Here we go. 
Take a look at our cube a little bit more. So, can we stack other shapes on the cube? Oh, yes, we can. Can we put a cube on top of other shapes? We can because it is flat on every side, right? So, we can stack with a cube. Now, can we slide a cube? Can we slide a cube? Absolutely. Now, this part is a little tricky. I'm going to say, can we roll a cube? Now, a dice is shaped like a cube. I'm sorry, die. A die is shaped like a cube. Um, and we do roll a die, right? But if we just poked it like this, would it roll? No. So, the way we decide if something rolls is if we're not really throwing it. A lot of things can roll if we throw it. We just need to poke it and see if it moves across the table. So a cube actually does not roll. It just slides. So it stacks and slides. All right, everybody. So we learned today about a sphere and a cube, and I'm going to challenge you to a shape hunt. So I'm going to give you, I don't know, you can take like five minutes if you want, but you're going to go ahead and pause the video in just a minute and run around your house or outside or whatever, wherever you're allowed to go and see if you can find some things in your house that are shaped like spheres or cubes, put them all in a pile. You can even sort them. So all the spheres are together and all the cubes are together. And then instead of drawing them, because I, like I said, I think that's really hard to do. You can have a grown-up take a picture for you of whatever you collected around your house. And then don't forget, come back, because we still do have that little exit ticket to do, all right, on this page. So go ahead, pause the video, and do your sphere and cube hunt. Okay, everybody, so don't forget, whatever you guys collected, take a picture, because I bet your teachers, teachers will really, really love to see all the spheres and cubes that you found. Now we're going to finish up our math with just doing this little exit ticket here. So we already did days 26, 27, and 28. Well, you did. I didn't fill these out. We're working on day 29 now, and you all should be familiar with this by now, but it says color two shapes that you would use to make the gray shape. So which of these two shapes go together to make the gray shape? You're gonna go ahead and color those in. If you have crayons, if you don't, you can just circle them. Whichever two shapes go together to make that shape. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you may pause the video and do your exit ticket. All right, guys, we're done with math for today. I hope you've loved learning about our solid or 3D shapes. Um, I think we're gonna do a little bit more of that tomorrow as well, but we're done with math for today. So I'll see you later for science. Good job.